Kwa wale mnaniangalia ninasema Bwana asifiwe, ninasema Mungu ni mwema pia. Mimi naitwa Apostle Nicholas Mwongela. Wengi by now mnanijua taifa zima ya Kenya na so many of our friends from the diaspora. Mimi ndiyo nilitoka hapa nikitembea mguu nikiwa na ujumbe wa uchaguzi ambao umepita tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane na nilianzia tu hapa mnaona hapa ndiyo sasa kanisani ama ule mlima mnasikia mnaendelea kutangazwa katika nini katika vyombo vya habari na channel yangu Apostle Nicholas Mugela katika YouTube Mount Zion Emmanuel Priyasenda kabla uchaguzi au ujapigwa kuna mambo matatu nilisema jambo la kwanza niliondoka hapa na ujumbe kwamba Dr. William Samuel Ruto niliondoka na ujumbe wa uchaguzi nikaenda state house sikumuona rais Uhuru Kenyatta lakini nilisema kwamba wakati ukifika kabla ya uchaguzi nitapatiana direction ile Mungu alikuwa amenipatia na nitamtaja ni nani anastahili kuongoza ili taifa na kweli tarehe 23 pale mwezi wa saba ulimwangu ukiangalia nilitangaza hadharani na nikaulizwa maswali mengi nikaambiwa serikali upeano lakini pia haikunishtua maana nilichua Mungu akiongea njambo huwa anatimiza kutoka pale niliona wale viongozi wengine nilikuwa ni waone ni wachache wale sikufanikiwa maana walikuwa na njivani wako na shughuli lakini namshukuru Mungu maana tarehe 25 mwezi wa ine ndio daktari William Ruto aliposikia pia kuna ujumbe wake uko na mtu wa Mungu ametoka makueni anatembea mguu na watoto wake wanalia kwa barabara wakiliombea taifa maana wakati huo wingu nyeusi ilikuwa imetanda katika taifa lakini bwana alikuwa ameniandaa for 40 years na akaniambia niinuke ili nipeleke huo ujumbe na nisimame katika nafasi basi nilienda tarehe 25 mwezi wa 4 daktari William Ruto Karen Residential omu yake aliposikia nikiongozwa na Patrick Bangula Musili ambaye alikuwa sitting MCA na ndiye alikuwa we deputy governor lakini kabandilishwa wakati Kenya kwanza ilikuwa na pia Mwaura yule ambaye former senator wakisaidiana Bangula they took me direct in fact i say without an appointment nikamwona daktari William Ruto nikampa uchumbe wake na nikamwambia daktari William Ruto utatawala Kenya na sio kwa nguvu za mtu. Na tukaongea yale mambo tuliongea yote, akaniambia ni muombee sana. Na mimi nikatoka na nikaendelea na nikapeana uchumbe kwa taifa mzima kila mtu anakumbuka. Wale walikuwa wanaongea na niambia sipo timia utafanya nini. Yote niliyosema, wale mnataka ukweli. Ukienda katika mindi ya zote na uende kwa channel yangu Apostle Nicholas Mongela, utapata ni ukweli kile nilisema chote kilitimia sasa tuko face tu Kenya inaangamia katika mbwawa ama katika ni kama bahari ya mandeni tuko na 9 trillion imeimbwa imekuwa chorus naambiwa hata mtoto mdo mtoto wa mtoto huyu amendaiwa lakini Mungu alishungumza nami na ndio nimeishi kuwaambia Mungu ameniambia amekumbuka Kenyans na Mungu ameniambia ako tayari kusaidia ili taifa Mungu aliniambia atajenga taifa la Kenya. Mungu ameniambia uchumi wetu utalainika. Maana anataka Mungu analainisha ana, ana Kenya iingiane na mapensi yake. Wahubiri kila mahali mnaimba revival revival. Revival ni Mungu kwanza apanguanye mambo na ipangwe tena. Na njambo moja nataka mshikie. The glory and the gold they go together. You can't talk about revival utapeleka injili kule kule ndia rasi Kongo vile naenda next year na hauna pesa za kukupeleka huko au juu talala acha hauna facility so you need the gold na sasa itakuwaje na kuna mandeni katika taifa Mungu alizungumza nami na kanipatia maandiko ambayo kila mtu anaichua nahitaja siisomi enda ujisomee iko wafalme wa pili mlango wa nne pale kwanza mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa sita. mama alikuwa pale mume amefariki na ameacha mandeni mengi sana na yale mandeni aliposikia mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa anaitwa Elisha amekuja hapo area akamtumana akamwambia niko kwa mandeni na watoto wangu wanaenda kuuzwa vile Kenya inandaiwa na vile hata nyinyi wengine 
Wengine hata ni wachungaji na walali kwa manyumba yao. Ni kukimbishwano na mambo ya mandeni. Wengine ni wananchi. Sio pale ulichukua pesa iwe ni fulisa iwe ni wapi hata kwa mambengi. Yaani mandeni ni anga imekalia taifa letu. Nilipokuwa naomba Mungu akaniambia ninataka uamke mtoto wangu. Maana ulienda verse 1 nikadhihirisha na mimi nimekutuma. Nataka uamke tena ukiwa umebeba sandaka. A prophetic offering. Sandaka ya kiunabii. Na uende omkabidhi rais wa nchi ndakitari William Samuel Ruto akiwa na administration yake watu believe that day Dr. William Ruto your appointment ni mtakapopewa the CS in charge of treasury money will be there you receive that check from the man of God from the mountain of God and let me have that check we have a checkbook sisi hapa kanisani hapa kanisani tuko na checkbook na ukiangalia imekatakatwa haiku katakatwa ikipelekwa ikawakisha moto Mungu amenisaidia tangu wakati nilitoka hapa Wacha niseme my followers hapa Kenya washirika wangu na kila mtu wote amesimama na mimi nasema Mungu akubariki ni kwa nini maana nimepata sandaka ambayo ni nzuri sana ya kuenda ni ikambidhi mikononi mwa rais kwa niamba ili Mungu apate kama mlango wa kuingia na kusaidia taifa la Kenya. So wana Kenya msijali, msiondoke, usifikirie kuama. Hii inchi uchumi wake utaenda kupona. Lakini na ni immediately nitakapo hunt over hiyo prophetic offering kwa daktari William Ruto our president from that time take it from me as a man of god the yoke of death borrowing will be broken munistian rais akisema kwamba korea 30 years back ilikuwa na kopesa pesa na kenya lakini saa hii mambo iko namna gani lakini mungu ametuambia aliniambia ametukumbuka na vile niliinuka hapa nikitembea mguu mwezi wa 4 tarehe 10 mwaka huu na ujumbe wa uchaguzi na ikatimia yote wale ambao mnao nisikiza siku ya leo nilikuwa nataka kufanya hii jambo mimi na mke wangu na watoto kanisa kaniambia pana mtu wa Mungu tuhusishe nikawahusisha maana tunakaa siku watu wakisikia sandaka na maana ni kweli wakati mwingine wametapeliwa na ndio nasema sandaka imetumika vibaya sana lakini msijali ninakuja nitawaambia vile mtakuwa mnatoa sandaka Hai si unaweza kutuharibia hapo ndio tunakuja but for now i am carrying an offering i am carrying an offering from the church account and i am going now to book the appointment and to 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 to, to see the president of this nation vile mara ya kwanza alinipokea kukiwa kumbaya saa hii siendi kwake wakati ni kumbaya Naenda kwake nikienda kumsaidia maana mkumbuke pia Biblia inasema ya kwamba tutakopesha mataifa mengi lakini hatutakopa Kenyans and the preachers niliwaambia hivi hii mambo ya tubo lisilo shiba iangaliwe sana saa sote toa sandaka wachungaji wengi wako pale leo na ministries mingi ni kutolewa sandaka kutolewa lakini amtoi na ndio mkiangalia kwa channel yangu kuna kijana tulichangea maana Mungu aliniambia my son ile sandaka nimekupatia kutoka wale watu wanokufuata hiyo sandaka ni wakati kama wakati Isaka Genesis 26 aliambiwa na Mungu usiende Misri panda wakati kama huu mbegu haikulangwi kwa hivyo ile kitu nasema ni nini hii ninabeba ni mbegu na ninachua ni wakati wa njaa hata wale umeuhusiana na mimi ni wakati wa njaa ninachua lakini wale mmejiunganisha na huu wito you will know that God sent me na ninasema namna gani immediately hiyo sandaka nikiyando over hivi kwa Dr. William Samoei Ruto kwa niaba ya watu wote wa Kenya na yale mandeni iko the 9 trillion ianza kupungushwa kutokana na ile litapeana sandaka takatifu ya kutoka mlimani wa Bwana imetoka wapi 
inatolewa na watu wa Mungu hapa and in the diaspora ninasema hivi mtaona Kenya ambayo mmeishi kusikia Kenya is a favored nation wa na Kenya popote mnanisikia tumekuwa tunatoa our payable number ni 7110131 kila ujumbe wangu uko na hiyo description wale mko diaspora my name my, my number embassy number if you want to join in this great mission and to see the fulfillment of times my number is 0700 217 and a triple two itakuletea nicolas mongela mutungi kwa hivyo nasema hivi wale wanataka kujiunga nasi deadline ni friday ni kitu ilianza kitambo iko kila mahali na circulate wale watasikia hii habari Mnipigie simu, mnuliza kutakuwaaje? Kwenda kutakuwa aje. Nikipewa the appointment, maana nitapewa. Hii ni appointment. Na ntoka hapa kama mtu wa Mungu nimebeba sandaka nzuri. Na niente. Maana ninaenda kusaidia taifa kushato mandeni. Najua appointment hiyo. Hata rais mwenyewe na administration yake, they will receive it positively. And with an nonsense we are tired kukaa chini ya hiyo kongwa ya mandeni kwa hivyo rais daktari william ruto vile nilikuja kwako tarehe 25 ukanipokea asante saa hii nakuja tena kwako ili nikuletee nikuja nikusaidie kulipa yale mandeni ambayo ni 9 trillion saa hii thank you it is a prophetic seed and offering na mtaenda kwa na kile mungu ataenda kufanya mungu awabariki sana na malisia kusema maaposo Nicolas Mungela this is our church treasurer ndio naona amebeba the checkbook na ya huyo ni yule mtoto alibeba rais picha yako rais Uhuru Kenyatta kutoka hapa mpaka state house au kutoka lakini hakuna shida niliyokuambia ile timu yote hii ni picha na picha tena hii ni picha yangu nilipomwendea daktari William Ruto ilikuwa ni tarehe 25 mwezi wa 4 akapokea ujumbe wangu kwa hivyo daktari William Ruto I love you I love my nation Kenya kwanza government I am 100% sure imeletwa na Mungu hata kama kuna teething problem Mungu ataisaidia So Kenyans tuungane tusaidie kujenga taifa letu God bless you wanasiasa mkisema siasa zenu make sure yale maongea mnasema inachenga inchi hata watu wa father estate I am also requesting you kwamba nyote Munapotengeneza news sana na kila kitu iwe ni kwa kujenga taifa. Mungu awabariki kila mtu kwa kiwango chake tusaidiane kujenga taifa letu. God bless you. Thank you.